The following footage is not edited in any way at all. It's not fisheye lens. It's filmed on an iPhone with no effects added whatsoever. This was filmed yesterday, Saturday. I heard today it's just as nuts. During filming, the owners on the Hoko side confronted our videographer. Um, and I do want to point out that he was extremely polite. And if I was a business owner and I was given the green light to open, I would open as well. So this is nothing against Hoko or the businesses that have opened. This footage that I'm showing you is proof and a valid reason as to why Canada's Wonderland not being allowed to open is complete hypocrisy. So this is at Doug Ford, the health officials, and anyone who is still not giving Wonderland the green light. Wonderland is trying to get approval for their Halloween haunt and Winterfest events. They have the strictest health guidelines out of any business in all of Ontario. To enter the park, you will have to go through a health screening process. There will be no cash transactions, physical distancing throughout the park with arrows, direction flow, security using an app. So to get into the park, you have to have their app downloaded and security will use the app to figure out where bottlenecks are happening or guests are bottling up and they'll help social distance everyone. Masks will be required everywhere in the park, even on rides. Sanitization will take place in queue lines and all touch points with hand sanitizer available everywhere and much more. Yet, they haven't been given the green light, nor answers, nor funding, or any support whatsoever. And you just saw it. The CNE is struggling and may not return because they went one season without operating. And this reality is very much a reality for a lot of the water parks and theme parks in Ontario, and they were neglected this summer by our government. Yet a place like Niagara Falls, again, no shade to the owners. If I was given the green light to open, I would have done so as well. But with very few places to go, you have Niagara Falls and Blue Mountain right now, and they are both packed. We have footage we could use against Blue Mountain as well that we have received from people that watch our channel, Okay, so this again, this is nothing against the owners of this business. It's not their fault. The hotels are fully booked. There's not much they can do. I will say, though, they have not kept their promises on a few things that they promised. There were no people out there encouraging social distancing, handing out masks and hand sanitizer that we could see. We are not out to attack Niagara Falls or the business owners here. But if a haunted house, a roller coaster, a Ferris wheel, 4D attraction where you're sitting down and using guns is allowed to open... Why can't Canada's Wonderland? There's no valid reason. Anyways, I'm going to shut up at this point in the video. I'm going to let you watch what Niagara Falls looked like this weekend. But before I do so, I want to invite you to like, comment, and share this video. But I will also be holding a protest at Canada's Wonderland at Jane and Major McKenzie this Saturday coming at 1 p.m. It is a peaceful protest. Masks will be required. Social distancing, distancing will be taking place. And we are just getting the message out there that Canada's Wonderland is a business and it needs to be treated like one as well. They should be open or they should be getting funding or support for not being allowed to open. It makes no sense. I don't care who you are. It makes absolutely no sense as to why Wonderland is not allowed to open when you have a place like this fully open and jam-packed like this with not even a fraction of the health guidelines that Wonderland has proposed. On top of that, a lot of you may be thinking that I am just trying to get Canada's Wonderland open so I can sit and ride a roller coaster. That's far from the truth. A lot of my friends work at the park. A lot of people I've met from this YouTube channel just filming at the park are actors at Canada's Wonderland. They're singers. They're employees, they're ride ops, they work in the food industry at Wonderland. Wonderland employs four to five thousand people a season. All four to five thousand of those people, maybe a fraction of them have a job, but a lot of them don't. And they've been sitting in limbo waiting for the park to open to work. So for those of you that are like, eh, stop being a rat, stop tattletailing on Niagara, I'm not trying to shut Niagara down. 
I'm trying to use this to allow another business that employs a lot more people, four to 5,000 more people, to open. I want places to open. I want Wonderland to open. I want Marineland to get funding. I want Calypso Water Park to get funding that they've requested. I want the CNE to get funding. Things should be open with health precautions. And yes, Niagara Falls should be open, but there should be more health precautions here. They really should. And that's all I have to say on that. I'm going to post my change.org um, thing down below, and I'm going to ask that you sign it, share this video, and if you really want, join us at our protest uh, this Saturday at 1 p.m. Uh, Jane and Major McKenzie, bring a mask. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And that's everything. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye. It's, it's Everything looks crowded. When you look at it from above, you see the pods. You see people yeah, in. Yeah, but like this right here, not, that is not one whole family. They're barely three feet apart. Yeah. Like that right there, and it bottlenecks the whole time. It's only real families that like want a social distance. But you, then you get it, most of them are, are face to back. It's not face to face. Yeah. Uh, if you look at if you look at how, how quickly they move, if you go by the by the uh, Canada app, uh -huh. I mean it's 15 minutes, right? Yeah. If you're sta stationary in one place for 15 minutes, you risk exposure. This line doesn't last with you. As soon as they start loading the wheel, that whole line moves. So you like to see it. Yeah. But come on, there's still at least a chance there where some people aren't wearing masks right here. Like, I can breathe and it will go past you. Especially in, like, there's some of those, like, right there. That's a big one right there. There's at least three families that I see that are within the six feet. But I know, I know you can't do anything, but, like, What do you do? You don't even have any of the ambassadors out here. I know that they're offing the ride. They are, because they've, they've been out there all night. They're offing the ride. No, no, they've been, they've been working the long time. We've got two, two supervisors, that, that's, that's all they've been doing. Good. They've worked in the lines. I mean, you, you can't control people from... No, I know. I, I, I get that, but when you put a safe to play ad up, Saying, hey, it's safe to come back. Oh, this is what you're inciting. You're inciting a crowd. No, but how many how many people have been infected in the? I don't know. Your old your speedway got infected there for a bit. Before, and that was a kid that was hired. Was, was infected when he was hired. And it was and it was his friends that he caught uh, yeah. along with it. like this tomorrow too, eh? No. No? No. You think right most down. are just Saturday? Yeah, it's because of the hotel. The hotels yeah. are packed, right? Yeah, I know. I took so, a couple of photos of just how, like, yeah, all the lights are on. They're like at over 80% capacity. Yeah. yeah. For tomorrow night, they're only like 60%. So. Huh? Oh, no, this, this is it for that. Pretty much yeah, for the summer season. Now. Yeah, I know. The last for us. I don't get why you would just tell people that I was using a fishing line. Because that's a, when I was, all I, you know what I said to him? Yeah. Okay, you gotta watch reporters because what I said, they, they said, they said, well, look busy. So it's a very different from the, the yeah, the from fire. the air, I from the air. Right. So it's a very different view. And and he says, well, you know, it, it looked like there was a big crowd. And I said, it could have been a distort. I said, if you look at some of it, it looks distorted. Yeah. And it looks like a wider angle. I said, yeah. it could have been a GoPro. It could have been a fish lens. I said, I don't know. But they don't fit the I don't know. They say he said it was it was it. That isn't what I said. What I said was, I don't I don't know why it was destroyed. 
it, it, it said, if you have, I mean, I've got your security video coming right through here. Oh, yeah. You passed Going right up. by this bend. Yeah. Went right around there. You went across the street. Yeah. You went up by, by Kelsey's. Yeah. And then you came back around. Yeah. I said, I've got the whole, I've got you on video. Yeah. Like, you're on your bike and you, you yeah. actually walked your bike through here. Yeah. And yeah. then you then you rode your bike after everyone. Yeah. Sanitized the gun. Yeah. Other than that, you're, you're moving. Yeah. It's all about keeping people moving.